This video tutorial will walk you through the process of submitting a Connecticut paid leave claim using the online claims portal. The online portal is the fastest and easiest way to submit your claim. You will start by signing into your Connecticut paid leave account. Click on the blue sign in button in the upper right hand corner of your screen at ctpaidleave.org. You will be redirected to the ct.gov login page. Enter the information that you provided when you set up your ct.gov account. Click Login. You will see the Verify Account screen, indicating that an email has been sent to you with an eight-digit verification code. Go to your email to retrieve the code and enter it into the boxes provided on the screen. Click Verify. You will be redirected back to the Connecticut Paid Leave homepage and you will know you are signed in because your name will now appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Scroll down and click on Get Started under Submit or View Your Claims. When the page refreshes, click on the blue Submit or View Claims button. You will see a pop-up window indicating that you will leave the Connecticut Paid Leave site and be directed to the AFLAC site. Click Continue. AFLAC is the Connecticut Paid Leave Authority's third-party administrator for claims. Once you are redirected, you will see a Terms of Use message appear on your screen. Click on the blue button, View Terms of Use, and you'll be taken to a new page displaying the terms. Once you have reviewed the terms, you may close this window. When you return to the AFLAC portal homepage, you will see a message asking you to decline or accept the Terms of Use. If you wish to proceed, click on Accept. You will only need to do this the first time you visit the AFLAC portal. Now you will enter your personal information. Required fields include your social security number, date of birth, mailing address, city, state, zip code, and gender. Your phone number and mobile number are optional. Complete this information and then click on Submit. Now you can start your new claim. Click on the blue Start a New Case button on the right side of the screen. You will see a message indicating the different information that you'll need in order to proceed. This includes the dates you'll be away from work, including the first day of absence and your return to work date. It is fine to use an estimate if you are not sure of the exact dates. You will also need your or your family members treating providers contact information if it is applicable to your claim. If you have this information and are ready to proceed, click on Let's Get Started. Next, you will be guided through some on-screen questions. The first is, are you a sole proprietor? Select yes or no. On the next screen, you will enter your employer's name and contact information. If you have more than one employer, you may click on the blue New Entry button and enter the information for your second employer. If not, simply click on the green Continue button. The next screen asks the question, why do you need time away from work? 
use the drop down menu to select the option. Then select continuous, intermittent, or reduced schedule leave. Enter the start and end date of your time away from work. You can provide an estimate if you are not sure of the exact dates. You will also enter the last day worked and the first day of absence. Click on the green continue button. Now you will be asked for the date that you need your paid leave benefits to begin. Enter the appropriate date and answer the question, have you applied for any other income or benefits related to this paid leave? Click on the green continue button. The next question asks if your healthcare provider advised you to stop working on a certain date. Select yes or no. Based on your answer, you will be asked a few additional questions. Enter the information requested. Click on continue. Now you will select your communication preferences. The default to the question, how would you like to receive communications is US mail. To change this to email, click on the blue pencil icon to the right of the question. You can then select email as your preferred communication method and click on the blue save button. Please note that if you select email, certain letters and payment information will still be sent via the U.S. Postal Service. If you wish to receive text messages, click on the blue pencil icon next to Text Messaging Preferences. This will allow you to move the slider bar next to the statement Update Me and add your phone number. Click on the blue save button. Once you have updated your communication preferences, click continue. You will now select how you would like to receive your Connecticut paid leave benefit payments if your claim is approved. Payments are issued via direct deposit into your bank account or via a Visa debit card. If you select direct deposit, you'll be asked to enter your bank information, including routing number, account number, and account type. Once you enter that information, you will click on save. If you wish to receive a Visa debit card, simply select Visa debit card and click on the blue save button. Once you have selected your payment method, click on the green continue button. You will now see a finalize and submit screen with some important information regarding your responsibilities in conjunction with your claim. Review these and then click on the green continue button. The next screen contains a drop down menu. Use the arrow to select an answer to the question, how did you hear about this program? Read the employee attestation and select yes or no. You will need to select yes if you wish to proceed with your claim. Click the green continue button. Now you will see a statement on your screen indicating that all the necessary information to submit your claim has been entered. Click on the green continue button to create your claim. A green box will appear at the top of your screen with a success message indicating that your claim has been created. You will now see a medical authorization screen, which you can electronically sign if you wish. 
Doing so will allow AFLAC to communicate with your healthcare provider for the purpose of obtaining necessary documents to process your claim. Electronically signing this form now will expedite that process. If you wish to sign, click the blue Sign Now button. A screen will appear indicating that the form is being prepared for you. A new screen will open with the Connecticut Paid Leave Medical Authorization form. To begin, click the blue Continue button at the bottom of your screen. First, fill in the date of birth field. Then, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and type your name in the employee signature box. Click the blue Apply button. Then, click on the blue Click to Sign button that appears at the bottom of your screen. You will see a green success message apply, appear at the top of your screen indicating that you have successfully completed this step. Now click on the green continue button. The next screen that appears will ask you to upload any documents related to your case. If you have any documents, such as a medical certification, adoption documents, or other related documents, you can upload them now. If you do not have any documents yet, just click Continue. You will see a message with What's Next? Take Me to My Case. Click on the blue View Case button. You will then see the details for the case that you just created. When you return to the main dashboard, you will see your case listed with the date created, the reason, the type of absence, the start date, and the current status of your case. This concludes our video tutorial on how to submit a new claim through the online claims portal.